This is Shanna with Florabella Collection. Today I'll be demonstrating the Florabella Texture Action for Photoshop Elements 6 and above and Photoshop CS2 and above. So this action helps you apply your texture, remove texture from skin or other desired areas while retaining the tone of the texture, and it also includes several adjustment layers so you can take a straight out of the camera image like this and turn it into something like this. Okay, so let's go back to our original, and first thing we're going to do is just click the play arrow on the actions palette to play the action. It immediately prompts us that we will choose a texture and resize it. So then you will navigate to your texture. I'm going to be using texture set 3 today, and let's see, maybe cat scratch. Okay, you can press the check mark or the enter button. Now by default, uh, this action changes the blending mode to overlay at an opacity of 45%. If that's fine to you, click continue. If not, click stop and you can adjust that. Uh, other popular blending modes are soft light, it's a little too subtle for this image I think, um, screen, multiply, hard light, there are several and you should really get to know them and figure out which one works for which kind of in image, but for the most part I use overlay or soft light. And today I'm just going to bring this up a little bit to about mm, 55%. Okay, now I'll just go back down to your play arrow, click play. And next it tells us to click stop and choose a soft black brush. So here's my brush tool. I'm going to go up to my brushes palette, make sure I have a soft brush. My hardness is set to zero and I want the brush to look kind of airbrushy around the edges. You can tell that's the right kind of brush. Now I'm going to adjust my brush size using my right or left bracket key. The right one makes it bigger. The left one makes it smaller. And I'm going to remove the texture by painting over the areas I want to remove the texture from. Okay, so I can just start here. Let's see, I'm going to turn it up to 100% because I don't want any texture on her skin. And you can see that it's removing the tone of the texture as well. And don't worry about that because we're going to bring that in back later. Um, brush gently over her arms. It doesn't have to be perfect on a shot like this, but just real quick. Now, if you want to see more clearly where you're painting or what you're doing, you can click the backslash key above your enter key on your keyboard, and that will turn everything you've painted to red. And to make the transition from texture to no texture gradual, after I paint my 100% areas, I'm going to go down between 20 and 30, about 26, make my brush larger, and just kind of sweep over, oops, sweep over the areas around the uh, untextured areas and just kind of very lightly remove some texture around so you don't go from 100% texture to 100% no texture. Again, click the backslash key to remove the red and let's press the arrow to continue the action. Now the tone will be added back in shortly here and we can finish up our image. Okay, now it just says to play with the adjustment layers. So you can see that the tone has been added back here on this level, on this layer. And if that's too much tone for her skin, you can decrease the tone on her skin. You can decrease it down just a little bit, so there's a little less there. Um, and down at the bottom we have Sharp and Defog. That kind of makes it a little more crisp and sharp, clarifies it a bit. We have Saturate Color, Lighten, which I almost always use, Darken, Warming, Cooling, desaturate, contrast, rich boost, vignette, and a sweet sun shiny tone up here. So let's start at the bottom. We've already clicked on sharpen to fog. I'm going to click on saturate. And this saturate color layer doesn't really affect the skin too much. It just adds a little color elsewhere for the most part. I'm going to keep that at about 20. Uh, let's see. I'm going to add some contrast. And I'm going to turn on the rich boost layer. I think that's a bit much, so I'm going to bring that down. Now I know I want pretty heavy vignetting here, so I'm going to turn the vignette on and up. Okay, that looks good. The Sweet Sun layer, I'll show you what that does. That's at 20%. If you bring it up, it gives it a real warm uh, vintage tone to the image. 
but for this one, I'm going to keep it at about 20%, here at about 20. Um, maybe increase my contrast here to about 50, and let me lighten it just a little bit more and increase the vignette just a tad bit more. Okay. Sharpen defog is at 100, and I think that looks pretty good. So you can use your Alt key on your keyboard and click the I next to the background layer down here to see the before and the after. You can certainly go back up and adjust your texture layer, increase or decrease the opacity, or like I said, take down the tone of the areas that you painted the texture off of. Um, and really the, the possibilities are endless. This action can do so, so much. You're welcome to run an action on your image before applying texture as well. You probably have to do less tweaking here or maybe not add any of these at all, just add the texture. So uh, Florabella textures and actions can be found at floribellacollection.com and be sure to join the Florabella Facebook page because there we have uh, special announcements and discounts and freebies, okay? So thanks for watching. Again, we have before and after.